everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my review of The Infinity of You and Me by J.K. Coyle. This book was released back in November and I was able to get an advanced reader's copy of it a couple months beforehand. So thank you so much to Griffin Publishing who sent me this book. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm very thankful I was able to receive a copy of this before it came out. So this book follows our main character, Alicia, and she, her entire life, has been having these visions about kind of another world in general that obviously isn't in our own real world and it's kind of about another life and other different events that are occurring. But one day her long lost father who she hasn't seen in many many years shows up at her 15th birthday party and tells her that these visions she's been having are actual real and true events. So it kind of goes keeps off from there and it's kind of uh, this adventure about her discovering um, how to deal with these visions. It's really, really cool. I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend you guys go check this out. There was a lot of great things about this book I really, really enjoyed. I didn't really have any problems with it. I did have a couple, but I'll talk about those in a second. So the first thing I really, really liked about this book was actually the setting. So this book actually takes place in Boston, Boston, Massachusetts, which is my home city. I live about an hour north of Boston, so I could relate to a lot of the different places that were mentioned in this book. There was a suburb mentioned. There was a couple other cities around the state of Massachusetts that were mentioned. I just could relate a lot to that, and I was actually surprised in <laughs> seeing those because uh, I didn't know it was taking place in Boston. So I thought that was really, really cool, and I really liked that aspect of it. I also really liked Alicia as our main character. I felt like I could relate a lot to her and what she was going through. I loved her relationship with her dad, even though they hadn't seen each other in a really, really long time. Which is so unfortunate, I can't imagine what that must have been like. So I also really liked this, her, she um, meets a boy, his name is Jax. And this isn't a romantic relationship, it's more of a friendship type of deal. There isn't really romance at all in this book, which is kind of cool and kind of interesting because I've never really read a book that has no t little to no rom romance in it. Um, but I really liked the relationship she formed with this uh, boy named Jack, who's also about the age of 15. Um, they've formed a really close friendship within the timeline of for, probably towards the like maybe the fifth chapter to the end of the book while Alicia is discovering the truth about these visions she has been having. And Jax is actually the son of one of her psychologists in her real life and he has been missing for some time and her, his mom has been unable to find him. It's really, really cool played a big part in how the story played out in the end. I really, really liked that. Uh, the only problems I really had with this book was I kind of found it a little bit confusing at times trying to decipher which part, which world we were in. Were we in Alicia's head or we were in her real life? It was kind of hard to decipher at times, but overall, um, eventually I kind of got used to it and it didn't bother me as much, especially the beginning of the book. You you start by, you know you're in her head, but as it transitions, she eventually wakes up and uh, after having these visions, and you know you're back in real life. So it's really interesting how that played out. But overall, this was a fantastic read in my opinion. I highly, highly recommend you guys go check it out. It is in stores now, and it's a fabulous book. If you guys love science fiction books, go check it out. It's really fantastic. So that is all going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will have all my social media links linked down below in the description box if you guys would like to be uh, followers of any of my social media. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. I also have my other channel linked down below, which I do DIY projects on. I think that's the first time I actually mentioned that on this channel. So I'll have that linked down below as well, as well as my website if you guys would like to see any reviews that I have yet to post here on the channel. They are all on there, and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I will see you on Monday. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!